what was yours? Excuse me. <laughs> I just saw you sitting on the bench and I yeah. thought you were really pretty, so. We've had this conversation before. I don't believe you. We have, haven't we? Did you recognize me there? Just now? Yeah, yeah. When I was, um, when I was sat on the bench, did you recognize me? No, I didn't actually. That's fucking crazy. I talked to you in, um, by Covent Garden, right? Yeah. My God, I swear. That I... So you do this quite often? No, like, literally, I have a really specific, I have a really specific type. Okay. And you are clearly it. Um, you still have a boyfriend, right? I still do have a boyfriend. And it's still going well? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna ask for your WhatsApp number. <laughs> because I, I, I feel like, look, we're young and things fall apart. And if if things do fall apart, I would really like the opportunity to, to take you out for a drink. Okay, you can have my number, but I am. I know. I'm not gonna um, overstep any any lines that you might. Um, obviously. Where are you heading today? Um, I'm heading to the pub to watch the football. Okay. 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 Um, okay. I'm gonna, I am saying I have a boyfriend. I know. So I understand. I'm not gonna, like, I don't expect even expect you. Just respond if you want to. Okay. Take care. Bye. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, you just walked past me, and I thought you were very attractive. So I wanted oh. to meet you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I have a boyfriend. So really? Yeah. Are you Russian? Yeah. Привет. Привет. From Moscow? Uh, not. No, from Siberia. Siberia? Mm -hmm. Wow. Like the husky dogs. You know the Siberian huskies? Yeah. They're the best looking dogs in the world. Yeah, they are. Do you have one at home? Oh, uh, no. I have a cat. Oh, cat. <laughs> An English cat. That's yeah. so much more boring. Mm. Um, listen, I, I, you have a boyfriend, you said. Yeah, yeah. Is it a good relationship? Do you, do you like him? Yeah. You... Okay. Um, fine. Well. Mm. Nice to meet you. It's lovely to meet you. You're beautiful. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank have you. a lovely day. You too. Bye. Bye. Hi guys, so uh, welcome to another uh, daytime vlog of what it looks like for me to go out for an afternoon for a couple of hours and meet some ladies. I'm in Chelsea at the moment, so I'm walking uh, up and down the King's Road and I just want to show you guys what this actually looks like because there's so many isolated examples and so many short videos uh, uh, about this but none of it really catches what cha what's actually happening. So I'm gonna do this more like a vlog. I'm just gonna show you guys the reality of it, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and, uh, and keep it real. So um, yeah, I look forward to it. See you guys. Excuse me. Hi. Hey. Hey, you just walked past me and I thought you looked really nice, so I wanted oh, to meet you. you. You're welcome. You. What's your name? Yeah. Is that a Turk? I'm Irish. Oh, yeah. Irish. Yeah. Okay. You guys have got the weirdest names. You've got like Aoife, which is A-I-O-F-E. Yeah. Uh, Sinead, S-I-N-E, I think that's Irish. Yeah, Sinead is Yeah, you guys have got a, the collection yeah. of the weirdest names. What are you up to today? Um, I'm just coming from work. Um, are you heading out? I'm heading home now, yeah. Watch the football? Maybe, yeah, yeah. No, you, Maybe. Don't care yeah about, you don't care about English, I was at the Italy game last night. So. Oh, really? Yeah. How was it? Yeah, good, good. Did you go to one of the typical English pubs with all the men throwing beer at each other? No, and... no, no, I good. did not. You've avoided that? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, can, I, can I ask, uh, are you 21? Yeah. Okay, cool. That was just my intuition. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I feel like you're in a rush uh, yeah, no, at, at the moment, but uh, yeah. I, th I think you're cute. I'd like to like talk to you more, go for a drink. If no, you I have a boyfriend. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, have a nice day. No problem. Thank and you. Take care. Enjoy Bye. Your day. Okay. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Beautiful. Beautiful. I've forgotten the name of this place, <laughs> but it looks nice. Um, yeah. So this is how it is. Every time you're walking around and you get kind of lost in thought, uh, your mind will constantly come back to thinking. It's the natural state of a. Uh, of the human mind is to be lost in thought and what I've really been focusing on over the past two or three weeks is just to say the phrase drop it in my mind I even wrote it on my arm and you know, I'm gonna get it tattooed there actually but to constantly 
drop it whenever you feel yourself getting tangled up in thoughts you just come back to your experience you just return to the moment you return to your visual field you feel the pace that you're walking you feel the air against your skin you look at the people around you and you drop back into experience from thought and from that place you can kind of keep going you might get an urge to go home you might get a feeling inside you like you need to go you need to get out of here but just drop that too and come back and you'll conserve your energy and be able to keep going especially when you're in places like this. If you start to feel tired, if you start to lose your energy, remember that your energy is always there. You're just gonna move in and out of different states. <laughs> so if at one moment you feel low energy, and you think, oh damn, I just need a coffee or a water or I need something to bring my energy up. Just move into the state that you're in. Feel the physical manifestation of that tiredness. Feel the drowsiness in your body. Feel the heaviness in your eyes. Walk with it, move with it. Accept that state fully and you can find energy in it. You can work and take action through that state, whatever it is. Don't resist it. Just feel it as a physical manifestation and then continue. Excuse me. Hi. You just walked yeah. past me and I thought you were beautiful. Oh, so really? I wanted to meet you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. That's really sweet. What's your name? In London. Okay. In London. Um, I'm Sam, really? lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, I put my hand. Yeah, you sorry, I'm okay. making you reorder your entire, all Don't of your worry. belongings. It looks like you've got like your know, whole bedding. Got, oh my god, it's so heavy. It's I like thought you'd bought a new, like a new bed cover. So heavy. Really, I what wish. else do you do? Um, it's just clothes. lots of clothes. Yeah, I've had a shoot, so. I believe that. Um, <laughs> whereabouts in Sloan Square? Um, no, it was in Cool. So it's quite way back. Nice. Is that yeah. for like a, a clothes brand or are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All uh, sponsored on Instagram and that not sort of thing. Not sponsored on Instagram. Okay, no, I love it. Not. I love it. You're, you're like the first person I've met that's keeping it old school. Oh, yeah. Old school. Very right? old school. Yeah, not that's too cool. much on Instagram. Yeah, nice. But, yeah. Uh, I've just come, got back from like Brazil like three weeks ago because right. I spend half of the year over there. Um, it? It's amazing. Have you been? No, I haven't. I wish. You would love it. Wow. You would really. Be amazing. Yeah, it's. Uh, well, you have Rio de Janeiro. Um, but I, I like live out there for six months um, and now I'm spending six months in London which is awesome. exciting. The dream. It's the best. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Awesome. And, and what about you? You're, I, you're uh, so, uh, based in London. Um, London based mm -hmm. and modelling. And yeah, modelling. Modelling. So right, that's okay. my, my main career. Are you fully modeling. English though? Because yeah, I, I have I to am. confess when I saw you I was like this girl probably has some, some Russian. Oh, really? In... Uh, that's not the first time someone said, but yeah, fully British. What do you usually get? What do I like, what do people normally think well, is your... Well, they normally just um, ask girls on Mamma Mia. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, no, that's yeah. not even a compliment to you, actually, I believe. <laughs> no, which, yeah, it gets a bit... That one gets tiring, yeah, right? Yeah, I kind of, I can say it, but, you know... Yeah. Um, when they and do you, do you, you live in... Or that's um, where you no, do... No, so I live... Oh, nice. At the Perfect. moment, but it will be moving soon. Where are you going? Um, what? It's yeah, so it's, yeah. it's it's it's. Uh, I think this is probably my favorite place is in it? London. No way. I love it. I love King's Road. Like, King's Road. yeah. I just I, I could like walk up and down here I know, all day. It's nice. Well, it's my walk every day to and from the station. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I, I guess I'll let you get on to wherever you're going with your mysterious bag, bag. Of, of clothes. <laughs> uh, but but I'd love to take you for a drink. Okay, um, sure, I'd one day. To. Yeah, that'd be fun. Do you use WhatsApp? Um, I do. Yeah, do you want my number? Yeah, I would love your number. Um, right. I've, I've only I've, recently I've, joined WhatsApp. Really? Yeah, it's so strange. You've been in the I dark normally, ages. Wow, well, that's what everybody's saying. My dad actually forced me on it. Your dad forced you. Yeah. I recently yeah. forced my dad. <laughs> he really? keeps asking for pictures of Brazil uh, on like, email. I'm like, Dad, I'm not doing and they this. They save. They saved their camera, so he must be glad. Yeah. yeah, it's just way but too I easy. I don't like WhatsApp because of that reason. Oh really? Um, so, yeah, and what was your name? Sam. Sam. It was okay. lovely to meet you. Yeah, you too. I'll see I'm, you soon you, then. You, yeah, sure. I'm so fed up with uh, <laughs> this, this nonsense. I know, I know. Hopefully it will go soon. I think it will. I'll yeah. see you soon. I will, yeah. Bye. Bye. Always, always go for the best that you can. Always go for the best opportunities. 
so often I see guys going out and basically talking to people who they think it's easy to talk to, people who they think that they're easily worthy of. Maybe they're a little bit better than that person in their estimation. And so they find it easy to go out and approach because the rejection doesn't mean anything and they feel like they've deserved it. But when they see the people they really like, the people they're really, really attracted to, they think subconsciously, I can't ever get that. I'm not good enough for that. So I'm not even gonna approach it. In my experience, whether you approach your best or you approach averageness, in your opinion, you're, you're as likely to get as good a result with either. And in some cases, the higher you aim, the more likely you are to get it. Because often the most beautiful people are the people that are approached the least because everybody's of the mindset that they don't deserve it. And so the few guys that are able to approach real beauty end up getting it because they don't get approached as much. And they have maybe a little bit more confidence in themselves to respond well and not think that someone's taking the piss out of them or having a joke or they don't get such a kick out of being nasty or, or rejecting someone. So in my experience, the best results that I've ever had in my life have come from when I've approached the girls that I really, really like. And that seems to be a trend that I see with my clients as well. Excuse me. Hi. You just walked past me and I thought you looked really nice. So I wanted to meet you. Have you just had your vaccine done? Yeah, yeah, that's why it's not sure. How was it? Did yeah. it hurt? No, not really. Just like I have to look away, but uh, that's fine. You don't like needles either? Yeah, yeah no, I'm not in pain, but uh, I love the other ideas. Yeah, yeah, I have a real problem with needles. I keep having to do yellow, fe you know yellow fever? Yeah. Because I go to Brazil all the time, so every time I go back there I have to do this like... I did it once when I went on <coughs> holidays, but I only once. You only need to do it once. But but you have to have this evidence, years, have to do it like so, every something like that. But you also have to show proof that you've had it done. Yeah. Like, so you have to have evidence, and I never have that. Okay, okay. so I always have to get it done again. Why don't you never have evidence? Huh? Why don't you have evidence? Because I lose it. How am I supposed to keep this thing with me? <laughs> Tell me, what is your name? Where are you from? I'm from here. I'm not stop walking up me. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> are, we, are we walking this way? <laughs> Okay, just walk with me a little bit. We'll walk down to the sign and then I'll, yeah. then I'll leave you in peace. Um, what, what's your name? Yeah. Lovely to meet you. What's name? Sam. That's fine. You're not from uh, London originally, are you? No. Greece? No. I won't guess again in case I offend you. Well, it's around the Mediterranean, yeah. <laughs> it's in the Mediterranean? Yeah. But it's not Italy? No. And it's not Spain? It is Spain. Oh, really? Ah, muy bien. Muy bien. Barcelona. Yeah. Cool. So you have beaches. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, have you been to Brazil? No, but I have Portuguese family, so... Oh, really? That's you follow Portuguese? Yeah. You follow Portuguese? I understand it, but uh, my stepbrother, my stepbrother. No, no, no. I can read it and everything, but no. Okay. Um, muy bien. And, entonces, esto... Estoy con uh, un amigo, yeah. pero uh, uh, me gusta, uh, me, she, she gusta, me, me gusta, uh, me gusta tú. Ahora me gusta tú. Uh, yo quiero uh, beber una cosa, cosa con tú, contigo. Y tú quieres beber una bebida. Conmigo, con, conmigo. Is your friend there? Uh -huh. Sorry. Conmigo. ¿Quieres? Entonces, vamos. ¿Tiene WhatsApp? Yo sí que tengo WhatsApp, yeah. Can I have it? Yeah. You want to give it to me? What? You seem really confused. I don't know why. I'm confused. Why? I thought you were pretty and I came to speak with you. I don't understand. What is it? In, do you have English number or Spanish? English. Seven, eight. Good. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ciao. So, a brisk stroll through the magical land that is South Kensington. 
with the Victoria and Albert Museum, the Science Museum and the National History Museum, all within the same 100 meter stretch. Uh, so yeah, London is a beautiful place to come. You can walk around basically the whole of Southwest London and uh, you can never be without opportunities to interact, to meet people, to talk, to enjoy the pristine beauty. Um, here's the Science Museum and many people walking up and down but not too many so let's continue oh like a, a bit intense here yeah? yeah. a bit intense here yeah. tell the camera about it let's film we're, fil we're filming vlogs man yeah we vlog yeah um we're vlogging all day what's that i'm like trying to get all the all the hidden information uh, as, as much as we can should we can we film um no you I'm, might i'm good off camera no oh okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, you just walked past me and I thought you were beautiful, so I wanted to say hi. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? I'm okay. What's your... I'm Sam. Lovely to meet you. Oh, handshake. Why not? We can't. COVID. Like, we can't kiss, Gary. Uh, well, handsh handshake's the least, I think, the least we can do now. COVID's finishing. We're supposed to do elbow tap. Well, I'm, not, I'm, not into, I'm not into what the kids say. Um, can I ask, how, how old are you, by the way? Are you above 18? Um, I'm 21. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's that's good. How old are you? How old do you think? I've got no idea. I'm 27. And that I actually had to think about because sometimes I forget. I think yeah. I'm 28. Um, I think nice. you're 28? Yeah, sometimes. It's, I mean, this last year is like, you forget kind of everything, right? You can't remember what you did like during most of this year. So mm -hmm. yeah, I forget my own age. Yeah. Sometimes. And you? No. No, I don't forget my age. I forget the year sometimes. Yeah, that's kind of easy as well. didn't happen. So. It didn't happen, no. right? It just kind of passed by in one night. What are you? What are you up to now? I'm going back to uni. Oh, okay. To do some work. Are you an artist? I'm a musician. Right, you play the violin. No. Piano. No. You sing. No. Delightful. The oboe. You're not going to get. You don't play the oboe, do you? The cello. No, I don't. Cello. Will you I'm tell gonna, me? I'm going to keep walking. Okay, I'll, I'll walk with you for a little bit, and as soon as you find this. Um, way intrusive annoying you can just say sam go away and i'll say that's my key to leave okay your name's sam yeah that's my name unless i've forgotten that as well maybe you have i know it, I mean, it's, been weird years, though, it's been a weird year um i just got back from brazil actually two weeks ago oh, really? yeah and when i'm over there everyone calls me samuel because they can't say sam so actually you know I'm on multiple names at the they moment really as well. Can't say they say San because they don't pronounce M's. Oh. And like, if you ever talk to a Brazilian, they say good morning is like bom dia, but they say bom dia because they can't say uh, can't say the M's. So. Right. What are you doing in Brazil? Um, I live over there usually for six months of the year, and then I spend six months in Europe because it's beautiful. Oh, so mostly. You just do it for, like, for a nice time. Yeah, it's like we have the sun now, and then when the sun decides that it doesn't want to show its face anymore, then I go to Brazil where it shows its face. So you literally just go there? Go there, like live. It? Yeah, because I'm kind of remote, you know, so I can kind of work from there and work from here and enjoy the best of the beach and the best of the city. But enough about me. Nice. Far too much about me. Far too much about me. What about you? Are you, you go to university, you play a mysterious instrument. Yeah. And how's it going? It's going fine. Uh, I yeah. went to the club and then I went to go to the piano. Okay. And now I'm going back to uni and then pub again. You, oh, pub, okay. uni, pub. Yeah. So you feel like after a couple of drinks, whatever this mysterious instrument is, yeah. becomes easier to no, play? No, I, it's not a good idea. Okay. I just, Yeah, they're the more uh, they work at the Church of the Latter Day Saints, i.e., they're Mormons. Yeah. Do you, and know, do you work there as well? No, not at all. I'm not Mormoning you. That was actually okay. going to be the first thing I said to you. Because the last was... time yesterday I walked from South Kent to here, mm -hmm. I, I walked with a Mormon. Ah, oh, right. That's, no, that's, that's not me. I'm not actually okay, cool. um, right. trying to persuade you of anything. Um, I just wanted to talk to you. 
I want, I need to know one more piece of information, which is yeah. what is the instrument that you play? Um, I think that you can go. Ooh. Well, I think we're going to save that for another time, actually. Are we? We need to leave a little, little bit of mystery into the future. Well, maybe. I would I'm like to. I'm not sure if you would know it. What, the instrument? Yeah. You knew really? you. Recorder? <laughs> no. Electric guitar, uh, double no. bass, no. organ, the organ. Think brass. Think brass. Oh, okay, trumpet. No, but you're jazz, sure. sax. No. Trombone. Yeah, you're close. You're close. You're literally like in between. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I would like to. Uh, I'd like to take you for a drink sometime. Maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend. Who knows? You're day drinking, so maybe sometime in the day. I don't always do that. I know. I really don't expect that you are going to be day drinking every day. But um, every day, sometimes. But listen, I'll let you go to your back to your mysterious instrument, which I will okay. guess at. Okay. okay. Um, you do use what's up? I assume. Yeah. Can you? Ten percent risky. That's always that's how I live. <laughs> Can you remember my name? No. no. I was gonna try and lie to you there and I realized that you can see straight through me already, so. Good start, can't remember my name, don't know what I do. Do you forgive me? Um, Let's see. So, oftentimes there's like an instinct when we feel someone who wants to continue walking where they're going that makes us want to leave or to go or makes us think that they're not interested in us or that this isn't going anywhere and it's kind of important to realize that a lot of the time they just feel like they need to get where they're going sometimes they really do and sometimes it's a sense that they're in a rush or some sense of urgency and it's no reflection on you at all it's purely a reflection on them so in that moment the best thing you can do is read that energy correctly and say okay there's some element of pressure here or urgency and that's going to deteriorate any connection that we might have and so instead of trying to force an outcome out of that strange incongruent energy i'm just going to walk with them and try and do it in a sort of playful way where you don't feel like you're imposing yourself and in doing that a lot of the time you're going to find that you can continue and you will have alleviated that pressure and that stress of the moment. Excuse me. Hi. You just walked past me and I thought you were beautiful. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. But now I'm aware that you might be young. How old are you? Yeah, 20. Okay, cool. You're not that young. Because oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not wearing makeup, so I look younger. You look really good without makeup. Do I? Wow. Yeah. I look like shit today. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. Um, what's your name, brother? I'm Sam. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> You're from England? Yeah, but I'm, I'm originally from Serbia. Oh, cool. I've, I haven't been to uh, Serbia, but I, I went to Montenegro. Have you been there? Yeah. 18. Did you like it? Budva? Yeah. yeah, I've been there as well. Before. Yeah, that place was beautiful. Yeah. Um, what, what are you up to? What are you doing? I'm going home now. <laughs> uh, whereabouts? North? Uh, no, no. It's like... Area, cool. Yeah. I live in um, Notting Hill. Yeah. Are you an artist? No, I. Guess. Oh, okay. Very much not. <laughs> I mean, I'm a musician, but like. Do you play piano? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I've tried it, but I can't play it. I play a bit of the guitar. That's all. What do you do? Um, I work. I run an online business, so I run like online coaching courses. Um, but I've I just got back from Brazil. Mm -hmm. What's this music? Yeah, so I didn't tell it all. <laughs> no, that's okay. You're, you're like still vibing whilst yeah. we're talking. That's cool. What are you listening to? Um, that. <laughs> I feel like you've just found this on a playlist. Um, no, I heard it somewhere and then I shazammed it. Oh, that's the classic. Yeah. yeah, I've got a whole Shazam playlist as well. Um, what, are you, what are you up to like on Sunday? On Sunday? Are you free? Uh, I think so, during the day, yeah. Cool. Well, I'd love to shoot you a message and maybe we can go for a drink. Okay, sure. Wait, how old are you? Nice. 27. 27. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with that age? 
I don't know. Do you feel I like I'm too old for you? I dated older people. It's just like, um, it work out. <laughs> really? Yeah. What's been your experience dating guys who are significantly older than you? I don't know. Different life stage. For sure. Mm. And like, I think I, yeah. I mean, my life has gone through quite a few stages, but uh, it's in a steadier stage than usual now. Mm. Um, what do you feel like your life stage is right now? I'm, in, I'm a uni student. My life's all over the place. Are you partying? Yeah. Sure. Are you, do you like the nightlife? Yep. <laughs> Very yeah. much so. Do not. <laughs> not so much at the moment. Like I, I occasionally go out to like a club because um, one of my friends like runs nights at Dolce actually just there. Uh -huh. um, so I occasionally go there with him, but I don't. I, I'm not like not into the drinking scene that much okay. at the moment. Like okay, a, ca enough. a casual drink now and then, you know, but I'm kind of changed my focus a little bit. Yeah. Whatever, let's go for a drink. Let's go for a glass of wine. I, yeah, I'll, okay. I'll be a cal calming influence on the otherwise wild party lifestyle. Sure, sure. Yeah, do you, do you have WhatsApp? Yeah, I do. I'm not that, that young. <laughs> yeah. I do have WhatsApp. Well, I don't know. It's like young. Some people just uh, don't, don't use it. I don't know if in, in Serbia you might be, maybe use a different app, right? No, everyone uses WhatsApp though. Americans don't. They use Facebook. Actually. Yeah, I'm not gonna give you my surname yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you some uh, my name's Sam by the way. Yeah, Sam, cool. It's obviously me. Yeah, it's nice <laughs> <to see> you. <laughs> so guys, after you go out and often have a difficult time at the start, um, when you're talking to people and approaching and doing what you need to do, you will find that after four or five in some quick succession where you've got yourself kind of expressive and relaxed enough to hold eye contact and confident enough to say what you want to say and sort of read the other person's energy, you do hit a flow state um, with social flow, right? This is just conversation in general. But particularly if you're talking to women that you really find attractive, you will start to find that this all fits together and everything Everything hits a little differently and it feels really natural and really normal. And so when you feel that, it's important not to let it overwhelm you, right? I hit that state just now where everything kind of makes sense socially. Uh, it's almost psychedelic, the feeling, but you cannot hang on to it. You cannot force it, force it to last longer than it will. You know that it will end. You know that you will dip back. You know that in the future you'll feel anxious. You cannot extend it. Just ride it. Just ride the, the wave in an unhurried and in an unhurried way. Just ride it out. Enjoy it for as long as it lasts and let it fade away as and when it does, knowing that it will come back in the future. I think that that's really important. And if you're ever thinking about quitting before you hit that state, just do two more just do one more and then just do one more after that and the best results always come after the hardest one right after that moment when you're just compelled to go home when you just have to stop and quit and go away right now that's where the best results will come so guys as i as i've said in the previous videos um i'm working really hard on this six week course at the moment the idea is that i take five men and in the course of six weeks I get you to the point that you are now, to the point that you can go out and approach anyone, anywhere and get into these states and get going and get that momentum. The point is it's a group. So you're gonna be with a group of guys who are all on the same path, all on the same trajectory, only guys that are taking action. None of this talking about it and not going out there. But when you have that accountability, when you have those guys in the same position as you who are all going after their goals, you've got me at hand constantly giving you guys support weekly one-on-one -on -one calls, weekly group calls with the group, and focusing on this step by step, we can get you anywhere in six weeks. And so anyone interested in that, please, as always, um, book on the Calendly link in the description of the video. We can talk about it or for any other coaching inquiries as well. I'm minimizing the amount of one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching I'm gonna be doing because I feel like I can help more people through this course, but I'm still gonna be doing a bit. And so get in touch if you have any questions. Thanks for being with me today, today guys, in uh, southwest London, and I'll see you in the next one.